Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in again today. Um, so, I have been really into fall scents lately, fall fragrances, and I wanted to do a quick video about the fragrances that I have that I think are really awesome for fall and winter. Um, you know, typically a fall scent is something a little more warm, a little more musky, maybe something with a little bit of spice. A little more oriental. Um, it really just depends on your taste, what you'll like. But um, these are just my picks of things that I have or things that I bought recently that I think are really, really awesome for fall and winter. Um, obviously, you know, summer you want to smell more fresh and more maybe a little floral. Uh, a little bit lighter of a smell, but winter, you know, it's colder, you want to be cozy, you want that more warm aura. So, I am going to just go ahead and go through my picks. Um, a few of them are from Bath & Body Works. One is a perfume and one is from Victoria's Secret. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have notes um, of the different, you know, elements of these scents. So, I, there's nothing worse than watching a um, fall scents video and someone just being like, oh my god, I just love it. It just like smells so... it like smells so good. <laughs> okay, well, just because it smells good to me doesn't mean that you will think that it smells good. So I tried to be prepared with notes on, you know, what these scents actually have in them, like what different kinds of flowers and stuff, so that like you can kind of get a feel for if you think that it would be something if you would like. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first one is Sensuous Amber, and this is from Bath & Body Works. It comes in like a reddish-orange tube, and I have the um, Triple Moisture Body Cream, and I also have the Spotty Spray. And this one has um, Lotus, Amber, Plum, and Sandalwood in it. And this one, I think, is probably, of all the ones I'm going to show you, the most fallish, the most fall-like. I think it's a really good everyday scent, and it's a little bit more of a unisex scent. Um, I think Bath & Body Works did a really good job kind of making it a little bit more, you know, multi-faceted instead of just it being like a straight amber. It does have that kind of other elements um, in it with the lotus and the sandalwood and the plum. So it, it's very seductive, it's very sensuous, it's very sexy. Um, but it isn't like too girly, so it's a little bit more of something that I think could be unisex if you wanted it to be. You know, if you're kind of into the more unisex sense, you might want to give that one a try. The next one is another favorite of mine. This one is a little bit more floral. So if you're not a big floral person, you might not like this one, but I'm super into florals. And this one is Velvet Tuberose. And Velvet Tuberose is Floral Spice, White Tuberose, Lang Lang, Indian Jasmine, and Orchid. And again, I have the body spray and I have the Triple Moisture Body Cream. And this is probably like, this one is very strong. Um, the Sensuous Amber is a lot lighter of a scent, but you can definitely still smell that you're wearing it. Um, Velvet Tuberose, if you wear the body spray and you wear the body lotion, you really don't even need like anything else. Um, a lot of these are more, like a lot of the time when you wear a body spray, like you spray it on and a couple hours later you can't really even tell that you put it on. That's definitely not the case with Velvet Tuberose. Velvet Tuberose is probably one of the strongest Bath & Body Works scents that's available, and so you might either really love that or really hate that. Personally, I love that because I really love strong scents. I really love scents that last all day that, you know, people can tell that you're actually wearing them. Um, so if you're not really into strong scents, you might not like this one. But this one is, again, super sexy, super, you know, I think this is a good night one as well. Um, it might be a little too much for the day or you just might need to go a little easier on it, just depending on whatever you like. But this one is, um, a little more girly and a lot more floral and a lot more strong. But I love this one. It's really good for winter too. Next one, um, and this is my final Bath & Body Works one, is Black Amethyst. And it looks like this. Again, this is the Triple Moisture. And this is uh, Italian Bergamot, 
um, camellias and sandalwood. And this one is less strong than I thought it would be. I thought it would be super strong, sort of like the Velvet Tuberos and the um, Amber, the Sensual Amber. But this one was a little bit um, less strong than I thought it would be. But again, it is very warm. It's very um, sort of a muskier scent. And this would be a really good one paired with my next item, which is a perfume, and it's Marc Jacobs Lola. And for some reason, I don't have, like, any kind of Lola body wash or body um, lotion or anything like that. And I wore this lotion today, and as I was putting it on, I was like, man, that smells a lot like Lola. So, you know, you could pretty much partner stuff together if they kind of have, like, a similar scent. And if you like both scents, then I don't really see why you couldn't partner different scents together. Um, a lot of people are very anti doing that, but I don't really see a problem with it, especially if they smell like pretty much exactly the same. I think Sensual Amber and Lola smell really, really similar. I have a full length review on the Lola, so if you are interested in that, just check that out. But just to give you a short rundown on what this is, this has peony, rose, fuchsia, grapefruit, pear, vanilla, musk, and tonka, tonka bean in it. So it sort of starts out with a lot of that like sweeter floral kind of scent, but as it wears throughout the day, it gets a lot more musky, a lot more warm, um, so I really like it, and if you're looking for like a cheaper alternative to this, I would definitely check out the Black Amethyst. I think they're both pretty similar. Um, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Maybe not, but that's just my opinion. Okay, and my final scent I'm going to mention is a new limited edition scent for, um, winter from Victoria's Secret's Pink collection and this would make a really awesome Christmas gift or uh, if you have a friend that has a birthday coming up or something like that this would be a really awesome gift because this is limited edition so if you're interested in this you should definitely get it now um, and it is called pink with a splash bold and playful and they have a lot of these you know flirty and sweet and fruity and fresh and clean and pure and pretty and all these different ones and I smelled all of them and really pretty much the only ones I liked was bold and playful. I also liked warm and cozy and I also thought the fresh and clean one was really good because it reminded me of my Dolce & Gabbana light blue. That one's a lot more summery so I'm not going to even go there but for winter and fall like this is perfect. It has amber and water lily in it and it sort of reminds me of like a mix between um, sensual amber because it has the amber in it and like another scent I'm not sure what yet but um, it's really nice because it has a little bit of amber in it, which I really like amber, but sometimes amber on its own can be really overpowering and sort of bitter and flat. So the fact that it has the water lily kind of floral scent in with the amber, I really, really like it. Um, and this is really decently priced. I didn't mention all the prices, but just for reference, this is 15 and the body splashes are typically 11 and the body lotions are typically also 11 So, um, but a lot of the times Bath and Body Works has like buy two, get one free, or buy three, get two free. So really these are pretty affordable things. The most expensive thing I mentioned today was the Marc Jacobs Lola and, you know, that's just kind of what comes with buying like a perfume instead of a body splash. But anyways, I really love all these scents and I hope you guys check some of these out. Please leave me a comment below with, you know, your experience, if you've tried any of these or if you like any of these. Um, this one is definitely the newest, the Bold and Playful, and I am obsessed with it. I just got it and I've just been like absolutely loving it. It's so warm and it smells really good and it smells a lot stronger than a lot of the other pink ones. Um, it smells a little more perfumey which I personally like because I don't really like fruity smells and I don't really like sugary smells. So if you like like really fruity, sugary, light smells, you're probably not going to like any of these perfumes. So just so you know, these are all very dark. These are all very warm, musky, kind of um, spicier scents, darker scents for fall and winter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. And like I said, please leave a comment below with your opinion on these products. I'd love to hear about it. Have a good one. Bye.